asked by people, well, was that a great surprise for you, know, because we don't got only one interview, but two interviews today, and we got a, a, a superstar, a classic a dancehall songster, a man who lived all the transformation of the dancehall music in a Jamaica. We have him right here attacking about Lieutenant Stitchy. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much. Respect. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and the disposition for this interview. Um, we humbly um, to have you here in the music in San Andreas Island. And as Ho Eddie say, you are one of the legends of the dance hall, a DJ. So we would like to start out knowing about your story, even though we read biographies, we see information on the internet, and we have an insight of who you are. We want to hear it from you, Mr. Lieutenant Sitchi. You want, you want to hear it directly? Yes, yeah. direct okay. from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, I was introduced into the reggae industry, you know, um, by hearing Dennis Brown, and so I started singing like Dennis Brown, and you know that's what attracted me to the music in the first place. And then later, later on, I learned a two prominent dancehall DJ like that, like my mentors, Brigadier Jerry and Rankin Joe. And when I heard those guys started DJing, man, I decided they were so good that I have to do a similar thing like that. And so, you know, that's what I started doing, and that's what drew me into the business. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And then I found, figured out my, you know, start my own style, get my own style, my own feel, my own flow, and started on different sound systems. And so I started actually recording, doing different competitions, record, um, DJ competitions, you know, being promoted from a private to, 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 to a corporal, to a sergeant, you know, um, and to a lieutenant. And then I've got a lieutenant to the governor. So, you know, that's where it comes from in the dance hall. You know, recently, I think it was um, two weeks ago on the 6th, I was um, conferred by the Prime Minister and by the government of Jamaica with an order of distinction wow. for my contribution to the development and growth of dance hall oh, globally, well reggae and dance hall locally and globally. That, well, that's that's nice. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. That, that is a, a really thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice information, really a, a legend have to be honored in life. Many times we make the mistake to honor them yeah, when they pass away, when, they, when they're not um, physically there right. to, to, to thank them for so much contribution yes, to, the cult, to, to, to the culture. Yeah, and really, it, it's nice and we give a big applause for that because really you, you merit it. And, and it's nice to have that experience and uh, exchange it here so would we because we, we feel that connection as Caribbean people with Jamaica. We we'll want to know, right. Mr. Stishi, what music means in your life? We, we know all that experience, all the music that you care through the whole world, but that personal perspective where you got about music. Well, music means a lot of things to me, you know, so, so that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a, a question that we could go on answering for five different programs that you have. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, music... Music to me is, is, is life. It, 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 it is from the Greek word news, which means to make think, which means we have to be responsible for whatever it is that we say, because from our words comes life and we're, and we're speaking into people's life. You know, music is also the, the visa for me to, to step out of a life of poverty into a, into a better focus and a better life to help my relatives and friends. You know what I mean? And music shows that Poverty is not an excuse to be a failure, but it can be a prerequisite for success. You know what I mean? And so, um, music means so much to me. Music is life. You know what I mean? And what I think that sums up, you know, the totality of what music is to me. You know what I mean? I use music to entertain and to educate and to inform. You know, because I am also a teacher. You know, by a professor, you know, a teacher of physical education and sport. And when I was going to to college, I used music to study because I couldn't afford the books. 
from going to, going to school. And so I had to go into the garbage bin where the richer children would throw away their books and buy those waste, the, the, those, uh, where the books that they throw away to become textbook. When I, was, I wasn't able to do that, then I started writing notes from those textbooks and make, make, made them into songs and memorize them as songs and use them for my exam. So music is everything to me. You wow. know what I mean? And one of those songs that, I, that I've written, I've written several songs um, that I've studied in exams. One of those songs uh, is called Body Body. You know, it tells you, uh, it was an, uh, 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 let me see how I can describe it. I, I was at college and I had an anatomy exam and a physiology exam. <laughs> and so I wrote the song. Yeah, to memorize the notes and what it is that I need to do to explain certain certain questions that would come on the test paper. And so once I sing the first line, then it reminds me of everything else. And so I use it as a, as a, as a means of memorizing my study to do my exams. And it worked well for me because I've never I've never failed that subject in going to uh, to, to college. Yeah, never was hard. Bless God, I never had to do a, a, a receipt. You know what I mean? And music is what helped me do that. Okay, nice. Hey, I would like to know which one was the uh, the first song you uh, made that put you in the eyesight or in the visual of all the um, the industry around the world because I know it's not only Jamaica. Uh, and you you say yeah. this is the song that opened the door for me. No, yeah, this is a, the, the song is Wear Your Size. But this is not the song that I wrote. The song that I was making reference to just a while ago is called Body Body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which says, Learn about your body, body. Body, body, learn about your body, body. Body, body, learn about your body, body. Body, body. Lieutenant Stitch is not only dying and entertainer. My personal career, I am a school teacher. The teacher's college I attended was GC Foster. And then teach me everything about human structure. So learn about your body, body. Body, body, learn about your body, body. <laughs> body, body. 206 bones make up your structure. They function properly, they must work together. We have two tongues, we have eight fingers. When we do in math, we use them represent numbers. We have two wrists, two elbows, and two shoulders. She pairs of them together, move with arm all over. We have two kidneys, one arm and one liver kidney. Regulate the concentration of this all food matter. The heart pump blood in our area, and the liver produced by language. Give your thesis colossal learn about your body 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 body, body. body. <laughs> about your body body <laughs> a very very dynamic way to really learn that yeah. that is a very very subtle way also to 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 learn the lesson them and many times we don't know how to memorize things and you have to find the right way to do it and really it's nice it's nice if the children they start listening to it they yes. know anatomy very clear and very good that yeah. whole, let me quick, just allow me to break down just maybe the first time to you. Where it says 206 bones make up your structure. Now when we write in the essay on the, on the skeletal system, and it asks how many bones make up, make up the human body. One school of thought says it's 204, and one school of thought says it's 206 because there are actually 12 pairs of ribs, but there are two ribs, a pair of ribs that are called the floating ribs, yeah? And, they are, and that would make it 13 instead of 12. And so those two would bring it up to 206. But if they don't plus two, then you'll get 204. But because those floating ribs are way down to your side, right down there along, you know, they are, they, they, they are, um, they are, they are basically cartilages. They, they refer to them as cartilages. So they don't class them as real bones. But really and truly, all bones come from cartilage. Yes. Is it? Right. Yes, yes. So it gives me that, that it reminds me how to explain and to work out the 33 pairs, uh, uh, the, ter the 33 in your, in your, in your vertebral co column. You know, and the two, it, it, and all of that, from your patella to your radius, to your ulma, to your fluma, you know what I mean, to your sternum, your scapula, it, the list goes on, you know? You know, so it opens up the memory to write that essay. 
sure it does. This definitely shows um, that when grandparents and especially grandmother used to say, I hope you know your lesson like how you know that song. You know this song and how you know your lesson. <laughs> so so, so, so how, how it applies, how it applies. In your time, it was you know your song because you know the lesson. <laughs> it was the contrary. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. You have a song game called yes. Bad. Can, can I tell you this? Sure. I remember when I was in exam, uh, when I was doing um, the, 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 um, the, ana the anatomy exam, you know, they were saying that I was talking, the invigilator thought that I was talking, and they gave me a clean no talking in the exam. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't talking. You were I was singing. actually singing. Yes. And my friends thought that I had it easy because when the exam was over, they said, why are you so, it's hard, you know? And I saw it, you were just singing all the way. You have it easy. No, I was just memorizing. <laughs> I never had it easy. Lieutenant <laughs> 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 so, Stitchy. So music means a lot to me. Lieutenant Stitchy, you have a song uh, called Mad. Uh, that song uh, improved definitely your, your capacity of singing and singing very fast. Uh, when did you decide that uh, that would be uh, the way to show a mark or a, sign, a signature about Stitchy way of singing? Well, I'm always, I'm from a family of persons who talk fast. My brother talk fast, my sister talk fast, everybody talk fast. <laughs> yeah. It's a heritage. Yeah. And so, uh, they slowing down the speed. I remember when I took dancehall music to Germany and to Europe the first time, and I was doing a television interview in Holland, introducing to them what dancehall music was, and the speed at which 